You are watching WPTV. Welcome back. For the past decade, Steam has been the king of the PC gaming world, and its parent company, Valve, has reaped the benefits. Companies like EA have tried to create alternatives like Origin, but to little avail on Steam's growth. Now, another developer separates itself from Valve right ahead of a big release for the company. Epic Games, creators of the Metro series and Fortnite, are leaving Valve in order to self-distribute the third Metro installment. Joining me today is Bruce and Matt to discuss this topic. Thank you guys for joining me today. Of course. Let's jump hey. right into it, Bruce. We were talking about it before we started filming. What had actually, like, Epic Games backs away. They say, we can make more money if we don't have to pay you to let us kind of play along by your rules. We'd make our own rules up. We sell it however we want it. What is Valve's response to that? Well, from what I learned, Valve is, well, first, I heard Valve was calling it unfair because most because of their users, and the users are also just as mad. Well, the ones who, well, Valve says that they're still honored the pre-orders that the users did. You know, they bought it from the Steam, but other users who haven't gotten the game yet are starting to uh, boycott this thing. I, I heard, I heard uh, they're starting to like put negative reviews on the past Metro games in revolt for what the, the company did. Right, and I'll ask you, Matt, do you think there's like, I understand that like P the PC gaming community is a huge part of it. Like there's, re there's like, it's a, it's a pie chart, there's three thirds, right? There's the Xbox players, there's the P PS4 players, and there's the PC players at the bottom. Um, you know, the PC players are a huge section of that market, but do you think this really has an effect on their sales if, if, they, if they just say, hey, look, you got to buy it from this website rather than this website? Um, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people use Steam, but Epic Games is just so big now because of Fortnite. I mean, I don't think they'll really care if their sales take a little bit of a hit if it means them going private and them kind of doing their own thing, you know? Yeah, I mean, Bruce, we were talking about, like, it, it almost felt like Epic Games was pulling it was just being like, look, we don't want to pay the whatever percentage you're making us pay to hold our own games here. We made it, we want to sell it. Same thing with Fortnite too. We made it, we want to sell it. Like now, the Valve kind of pulled like a mafia move. It was like, hey, all these other guys are coming through us and they're making a lot of money. It'd be a shame if you didn't make that kind of money. Do you think that, that kind of intimidation, like Matt you know, said, uh, Epic Games is such a big company. Do you think that kind of intimidation works? I don't really think so. I mean, like you like you said, Epic Games is a big company as well and making money off of Fortnite and like they didn't really much care how much money they make from the Metro cuz you know, they gave it 88% when Steam gives only only 70% profit to the developers. But um but no, I don't think it's going to do much. They they'll those are going to still go for it. And, and I, we, you know, we talked about this a little bit, but Matt, do you think this encourages other developers to go private? Let's say like you have EA going private, uh, Epic Games gets bigger, they go private. Do you see Activision going private in the future with the next Destiny or the next Call of Duty? Do you see uh, maybe you know, uh, Blizzard you know, just says, hey, we're done here, and they go private to reap those benefits? Do you see that happening for our community in that sense? Um, honestly, no. I just think that Epic Games kind of has a liberty to do it because they're so huge right now. Um, I, I can't really see a lot of like other big companies going that way. I mean, unless they get tired of like Steam taking a chunk of their revenue, you know what I mean? Um, if, if Steam continues to keep up with that, I mean, if they lower the amount that they take from like developers, then maybe they'll be able to keep some people. But, you know, seeing that Epic Games is kind of got tired of it and kind of left, maybe they will start to follow, but you know, who knows? Yeah, and I, I always find it weird. It's like we, we're coming off in, you know, in a different media space. You're talking about like uh, streaming uh, mm -hmm. services. You had Netflix for a long time, which was the king of the hill. Everyone had to have Netflix. You stole it from somebody. Then you had Hulu step in, which was a kind of a different kind of service. So you, you know, it was a different fan base. It was more live TV and active TV shows. And now all of a sudden you have DC steps away. Uh, Disney says they're stepping away. Xbox creates their own streaming service that they want to unveil coming next year. Like you, and now people are privatizing in that end. Do you feel like PC gaming or gaming just in general will go privatized very soon? Wow. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even know about the Xbox streaming service. That's, yeah, that's crazy. They want to they <laughs> put, put all their Microsoft things in one place for everyone to buy it or everyone to play it. So, I mean, with that, do you see that gaming will follow a similar strategy and they're just going to go, all right, we'll go that route. It makes us more money. Well, I mean, to go independent, 
I could see that why it makes more money is because I think the most reasons why they would well in the first place why they want to you know work with a company is that because I guess it will publish better but publishing independently it's just going to be like all around the place like now you got to do all searching like wait now where do I got to get this game now where do I got this game Steam was like I get I get the whole why they want to leave Steam but it was like Steam was organized you right. you look up the search bar on Steam and it was there but now things are going to get privatized you're going to be on like a scavenger hunt trying to find the game but then again, do they even care about that? I mean, companies go where the money is. You know what I mean? I mean, that's what Disney's doing with their streaming service. They're realizing how big the MCU is and that people will pay to stream these movies. You know what I mean? So I don't think that's really on people's minds whether or not the customers will be happy, honestly. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't think that the companies even care about us anymore. They're yeah. kind of being like, look, I make 88% from these guys. I'm making 70 from these guys. I'm going to go right yeah. here. Um, so last question. <clears throat> uh, let's do a hypothetical. Mm -hmm. Epic Games is not big enough. They can't do it. Uh, do you see another company maybe that is big enough, like EA, stepping in to back them, saying, hey, we're not going to take your game, but we'll give you some funding for a kickback just to, so you can get away from Steam to bump their own sales because they want to eliminate Steam because it hurts their platform. Do you see another company stepping in to help them? Well, when EA steps in to anything, I'm a little, <laughs> I get a little worried. <laughs> but um, I don't really know because, I mean, I, I've said this like three times already, but Epic Games is huge right now, so maybe they want to see Epic Games kind of take a little bit of a fall, you know, because Fortnite is like punching a hole through the gaming industry. Right, you know but if, I mean? if you're EA, <laughs> you, if you get a ch chunk of yeah. that Fortnite change, you'd love that. Yeah, this is like old That's, like yeah old. there's like two sides to it, I guess. Yeah. Um, what do you say? What do you think, Bruce? Oh, no, it's now it's starting to sound like a whole mafia thing. Now, now you're <laughs> right about that. <laughs> it's a mob movie. It's just, just one glorified probably, mob movie. They're probably just going to wait to see what happens with Epic Games and, you know. Uh, well, what you said about EA, if they what they like want to see the fall of their games, I just think like yeah, that's probably like mobs waiting for like the other game to see what happens to them. I'm just excited for the one Scorsese movie where I get to see a bunch of guys in PlayStation shirts going around like <laughs> trying to extort money out of companies online. <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today on mm -hmm. today's topic, but don't go anywhere because Joe and Michelle will be breaking down Kingdom Hearts three right here on Press Start. I think.